Okay. What we're doing is identifying the female body parts. Um, the first thing we have to identify is the sacrum. And that would be, can we see it here? Number six. Where's the bone? That's, yeah, this by is the, the butt. coccyx, and this is the sacrum. So sacrum is right here, and this is the coccyx bone. Um, then we have our ovary, which is number 26 right here, this little bulgy thingy. Uh, the uterine tube, or the ovarian duct, kind of comes off of the, the, the ovary, and it's right here. So the ovary is, point to the ovary again? 26. And then the tube? It's right here, the ovarian, or the uterine tube. And then let's take this off so you can kind of see. Um, next, we're looking at the uterus, which is 22, which is this entire area right here. And um, our urethra. No, hold on, wait. Okay, then we have to do our cervical OS, which is our opening to our to, um, to the cervix. cervix. So right here. So this is the cervix, so this is the cervical opening in here. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Right there. And then we're going to have the vagina, which is this, which is, um, I believe it's 21 on this model. Yeah. And then our urethra, which is this one, which is where we pee. Pee comes out of the bladder from there. And then our um, clitoris is right here, number 20. So there would be our clitoris. So what, what color is it? Uh, it's 20, so it's like this. It's okay. that tissue right there. Okay. Um, uh, our labia minora. It's right here. The inner labia. <laughs> and then the labia majora is 13, and it's on the outside. Um, our external urethral metis. We didn't find that We one. did not find that one. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back to that. Our urinary bladder is here. Hold her. Pee -pee. Yes. <laughs> it's number nine number nineteen, so it's the cavity in there. Can we are we at a place you can pause for just a second? I'm not gonna pause the video. Doctor P. Oh. Okay, <laughs> we'll ask him in a minute. The and then our external urethra sphincter is not numbered, but it is this. And it's a dark pink and he said it's a circular muscle that kind of squeezes. Okay, which one did we need him to find for us? The external urethral metis. Metis. Just at the very the the opening. The opening. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. The sigmoid colon. That's nine A. So sigmoid means S-shaped. Mm -hmm. So this part of the colon, if you look at it in the digestive system, it has it's sort of S-shaped like that. So it comes down. So that's called the sigmoid colon. Um, let's see the rectum. It's down yeah, here. <laughs> the external uh, anal sphincter. So the external is on the outside, and that's made of striated, striated muscle. Mm -hmm. And then the internal is smooth muscle. smooth muscle, and that's in our internal anal sphincter. Our aorta is right here, number 33. Uh -huh. And that goes down right. to our common iliac artery. Uh -huh. And then our external iliac artery comes straight off of that. And our internal iliac artery goes inside. You see it? Yep, there it is. And then this is our inferior vena cava. That goes down to our common iliac vein, which would go down to our external iliac um, right here, vein. vein. And there's not an internal iliac here. Yeah, they may just not have connected. But it would be down this way, coming off of this common iliac. And I think that's it. Is it? Wait, I think 30. So, what are these running across here? The gonadal. Right. Yeah. I thought I had you. All right. I think we're done.